if you're a pet owner, you know that caring for them is costly, from the food to the vaccines to their general health and well-being. And that's why fundraisers are so vital for most nonprofits looking to make a difference in the lives of these homeless pets. So in today's Find a Friend segment, which is sponsored by Rascal Animal Hospital, I would like to welcome Angela Christensen, who is with Pet Promise. Thanks for being here, Angela. Happy to be here. All right, let's talk about that little girl Tilt you got with you. So this is Tilt. She's about six months old. She was, uh, she's a special medical case. She's very small for her age. She should be a couple pounds heavier and she uh, was rejected by her mom when she was a kitten. So a kind couple rescued her and got her and her brother to us. Her brother was huge, she was teeny tiny, and she's required about three or four months of intensive care. And uh, she's now ready for adoption. She's very sweet and she does have a best friend, Bee, that she loves to play with at our house, a kitty friend. But we'd love to find a home for Tilt and Bee to go together. So that they have a little love already mm -hmm. when they're there. They love each other. Yes. Okay, and how does somebody go about adopting them? So all of our adoption process is on our website. It's just petpromise.org and there's an application uh, process online and you fill it out online, it comes directly to me for the cats and I'll check your vet reference. Um, I, do, I do come to your house just to talk about the cat and integrating cats into other houses and where to put the litter box and what kind of food to use. And, um, and that's a lot of what you guys do too, just saying that is, is that you try to educate homeowners, you try to educate these pet owners about what they're getting into and what it takes to really care for an animal. It's a significant responsibility and we do not do on the spot adoption just for that reason and the fact that taking an animal into your home is really a responsibility that you need to think about. Everyone in the house needs to be on on board. Spouses need to agree, you know, and set their ground rules. So it really is, we are extremely um, thorough and we do that because my job is to make sure that Tilt has the best home. Mm. Um, sometimes I have to say no and I do have some people that get upset, but my job, my responsibility is to her, is to make sure that I put her in her forever home where they will love her for the entirety of her life. And Angela, obviously the big thing for you guys is to have fundraisers because you take care of a lot of animals. And the big one for you guys, 40% of your medical budget comes from this. So I want people to realize yes. that, that, yes. that you need them to come on out yes. to the rescue <laughs> run. What are the details? What's going on in this event? So uh, Rescue Run is, this is our 16th annual Rescue Run. It is the race walk uh, and it's on Saturday, May 28th down in McPherson Commons, which is right next to Nationwide Arena. Registration opens at eight. You can see me at the registration table and the race walk and festival starts at 930. That event raises, like you said, 40% of our budget, um, our medical budget. Each year, Pet Promise spends nearly $70,000 or more on medical care for our animals. And that's over 200 cats and dogs, which the average is $350 per animal. If you think about that, you're adopting a cat for $75 and we have spayed it, neutered it, tested it, microchipped it, given it all its shots, dewormed it, put flea medication on it, loved it, cared for it. So $75 is not a lot, but not a lot. We're, near, we're spending $350 on average per animal. So we um, are all volunteer. We receive no governmental funding, no one is paid, and every all of the money goes to caring for our homeless and adoptable animals. So you want people to sign up. You want to let them know dogs are welcome, but let's keep them on a leash because we've yes. got a lot of animals going around. Yes, that day. friendly dogs are welcome um, on non-retractable leashes. Uh, retractable leashes are actually a danger to people and dogs. So um, you're welcome to bring your friendly dog on a non-retractable leash. Um, there's lots of dogs that come in strollers or um, carried in little baby packs. <laughs> and it's really fun at 930 to see the starting line. And you've got the serious runners who do it. And then you have the people who love animals who bring their pets and the dogs are all barking. And, and it's really a fun time. It's really a fun time. All right, again, we'll put that information up if you want to register for the rescue run. They have a lot of fun. It looks like a great time. And petpromise.org, right to adopt Correct. Tilt if you are looking for her and her friend. And her friend B or friend any B. of the uh, 100 other cats that we have in our program. We have everything from tiny kittens up through special needs adults. Okay, perfect. Angela, I want to thank you for being with me. Thanks.